everyone. Welcome back to another week of Wonder I Wonder. That's right, I wonder. This is a series of videos where you ask the questions and I try my best to answer them as we wonder together. This week, our question comes from Lux. Yay! Give it up for Lux, everyone. So Lux is wondering, how did Jesus get his powers? Oh, wow! I love this question, Lux, because it's so fun to imagine Jesus as a superhero, huh? Like, what if Jesus wore tights and a cape and a superhero mask? Whoa, superheroes are really cool. So, before we wonder together, let's take a moment and shout out so loud who is our favorite superhero. Ready? Set, go. Wowee! Those are some pretty great superheroes. Now, Lux, back to your question. How did Jesus get his powers? Well, the short answer is that Jesus got his powers from God. Because did you know that God is actually made up of three different people? That's right. So first there's God the Father, or as we say, God the Mother too. Because God isn't just a boy or just a girl, right? Then there's Jesus, God's Son. There's also God's Spirit, also known as the Holy Spirit. Or like we sing in our doxology, the Holy Ghost. And all three parts of God love each other and work together in this kind of beautiful, special dance. They're all different and they're all the same. They're all separate and they're all connected. Ooh, how mysterious. So, Jesus is God. And that's how he got his powers. So I have a question for you. What are some of God's powers? Let's take a moment and share our answers in the chat. What are some of God's powers? do some pretty amazing and powerful things. Now here's where it gets even more interesting because what makes Jesus really special is that he was 100% fully God and he was 100% fully human. What? You can't be 200% anything. That does not make sense. You're right. It doesn't. Another mystery, but it's also a really cool superpower. Because Jesus was fully God, he could do miracles when he lived on earth, like calming the stormy waters of the Sea of Galilee, or feeding a crowd of over 5,000 people with only two fish and five loaves of bread. And because Jesus was fully human, he could use his body, his touch, his hands, his feet, in some pretty cool ways. Like he could hug his friends and eat dinner with people who were left out or hungry. And the ultimate Jesus superpower was when Jesus used his God powers and his human powers at the same time. Like one time, Jesus healed a blind man by spitting into dirt 
and rubbing the mud on the man's eyes so that he could see again. Or another time, Jesus woke up, put on his favorite cloak, and used that cloak to heal a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. <gasps> Jesus did have a superhero cape. Now, there's one more cool and mysterious plot twist. Remember how God is made up of three people? God the Father, Mother, Jesus, God's Son, and God's Holy Spirit? Well, after Jesus died, came back to life, and went up to heaven, he sent God's Holy Spirit to live with us. And guess what? That means that not only do we have our human powers like Jesus, but we also have some of Jesus' special God powers too, thanks to the Holy Spirit. What? So here's my last question. How can we use our human powers and our God powers to love the world like Jesus did? Let's take a moment and share our answers in the chat. How can we use our powers to love the world like Jesus did? super duper amazing ways to use our powers to love the world like Jesus did. Thanks for sharing everyone. And thank you Lux for asking such an amazing question. Superhero Jesus. Yeah. I sure loved wondering with all of you and I can't wait to answer more of your questions. Remember, you can email me Or you can text or Facebook or snail mail me your questions. And remember, no question is off limits. Thanks for wondering with me.